Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing. You guys, Diamond Art Club is bringing us a special Harry Potter themed midweek release Again, it, though it's been a little while since we've had one of these, but thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all ahead of this midweek release. Um, and thank you to you guys for watching. I hope that this video helps you decide if this should be on your shopping list for the weekend. And by the weekend, I mean Wednesday. So this kit, along with any other special midweek releases are going to be happening tomorrow, which is Wednesday, August 24th at I believe it's going to be 9 a.m. Pacific time for everybody. Typically for these midweek releases, there is not a uh, two separate release times for Ruby and Diamond tier versus general release. I think it's just 9 a.m. for everyone. Be sure to check Diamond Art Club's preview on their social media accounts. That will confirm the date and time for you. And I will also update the description to make sure that it reflects the um, the advertised date and time to look for this one. Anyway, let's get to it. The kit I have to share with you all today is called All I Want for Christmas. It's gonna be a big one, 65 by 86 centimeters. Good size anyway. Here is that original artwork. Don't mind the glare. You guys, it is not too early to start planning for Christmas. And I think this is such, such a unique and beautiful piece of artwork to work on. Now, for these special Harry Potter themed releases, we get lots of special branding. Um, we've got the Daily Prophet newspaper print here uh, in the background. We have some pretty gold foiling. We have some of the Harry Potter imagery here as well. Here's that original artwork once again. It's a little hard to see because it's so dark. It'll be easier to tell when, once we're looking at the canvas, I hope. Only 15 colors in this one. How many bags of 310, which is a black <laughs> diamond. How many bags of that do you think we're gonna have? <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have three Aurora Borealis colors, which has a special kind of diamond I'll tell you more about in a bit. Um, and look, this one has diamond counts on the side as well, 90,000 diamonds. And this is gonna have square diamonds, um, which square, square diamonds. <laughs> and we have, of course, Wizarding World, Harry Potter, and all the things. So. There's also notes on the back as far as like how diamond painting works and the kit contents and whatnot. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this. How are you guys doing today? I hope your week is off to a fantastic start so far. Um, mine is, especially now that we get like a nice little surprise Harry Potter release in the middle of the week. And like I said, it's, it's nice to be able to plan ahead for seasonal kits like this one and with what did that say, 19 colors, 15 colors, 15 colors. I bet this is one that would work up quickly as well. So we've got a toolkit, there is that. There's our little sticker, okay. So let's take a quick look. It looks like this kit has come with the newer version of the toolkit. Uh, Diamond Archive has a couple of different versions of toolkits floating around out there. They are phasing in this newer version uh, but I always just say at this point, there's not a hard and fast way to know which version you're going to get with your kit. The good news is whichever version you get, it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. These newer ones just come with a couple of extra bonus goodies, which I'll point out to you. Uh, so here we've got a basic pen and squishy. We have a pair of tweezers. These come specifically with the kits that have square diamonds. The kits with round diamonds are not gonna have the tweezers. They're super pointy and sharp, by the way. So keep that cover on. You're also gonna get a caddy with two plates of pink heart wax. There's a thin plastic cover on there. Be sure to take that off before you try to load up your pen. We have a bag o baggies. You can use these to kit up into uh, or to store your leftover diamonds in. You're also going to get a couple of thin plastic, oops, let me just drop that. Thin plastic multi-placers in case you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then we also have a tray, clear with gold sparkles. This is a tray stopper. It helps stop the diamonds from falling out while you're working. And then these last two bits here, these are the things that are exclusive to the newer toolkits. The print and style are going to vary. This is a cover minder. This is a roll of washi tape. Cover minders have magnets on the back. You can pop off the one magnet, slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, and then set it down. 
peel back the plastic cover, set that on top of the peeled back plastic cover, and it will hold back that cover for you while you're working on that section. Washi tape, I really like to use to cover up the border, or rather the edges of my canvas where any glue goes past the edge of the drill field. That just prevents dirt and dust from getting stuck in that glue. I also use washi tape to section off my canvases while I'm working. I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape with my diamond paintings. If you are curious, feel free to check it out. I will link to it below in the description box. So let me shift this off to the side. We also, with your diamond art club kit, you're going to get a smaller sticker like this one. Uh, this has all the info about the kit itself. I like to use these in my paper logbook. Some people like to use them on the sides of the box to help sort through their stash more easily. And others like to do something crafty or random with these. But either way, I like these because they have all of the info about the kit on them. And I like that Diamond Art Club includes them. Everything else is gonna be included here in this branded plastic dust cover. Just to give it that extra layer of protection. Of course, we're gonna have Diamond Art Club's super soft canvas here. Oh my gosh, see, look, now we can make that out a little bit better aside from that glare. Wow, this is, oh my gosh, you guys, this is big. This is a big one. <laughs> it looks gorgeous and glorious. Oh my gosh, the size of that snitch though. Uh, so there's the bottom of the canvas as well. We have our knitted sweater, our chocolate frog. Like, oh my gosh, this is super, super, super cute. I love it, love, 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 love it. Here's our big bag of diamonds, mostly black. <laughs> Look at those in just a bit. First, let me uh, show you what else is included. So uh, you're gonna get a pamphlet that includes a thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about what's included, a video with step-by-step -step instructions for beginners. I also have one of those I'll link below. Uh, this QR code takes you to the VIP Facebook group, which is an excellent resource. I highly recommend joining once you've made your first purchase from Diamond Art Club. Here's some written out step-by-step -step instructions for you, as well as some tips and tricks. Uh, here's one discount code for 10% off. And then if you download the mobile app, you'll not only be able to get notifications and stuff like that, um, you'll also get 20% off your first purchase through the app. Speaking of discount codes, you just saw two. You're gonna see a couple more in this uh, unboxing itself, but I also wanna let you know that if you are brand, brand new to Diamond Art Club and want to save 20% off your first purchase. I do have a discount code for 20% off for first time buyers. So it's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And of course, in the interest of full disclosure, if you use that, I may make a small commission. It always goes right back into my channel. But please, 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 please don't feel obligated because there are discount codes everywhere. Just don't pay full price. Use some sort of discount code so that you are saving a bit of money. Here we've got a large sticker sheet with the title, All I Want for Christmas. This is by WB Warner Brothers slash Harry Potter. Now, something to note is that while we don't see an artist's name listed here, that is part of the contract agreement that WB has with their artists and that Diamond Art Club has with WB. So most of the kits that come come to us through this licensing agreement, we're not necessarily going to see artist names. Um, so that is why, just in case you were wondering, everything is still totally above board, but that is just part of the licensing agreement. Uh, so anyway, we have a spot to write our start and end date. There's a better look at the original artwork. You can see it a little more clearly here. And then the size, 65 centimeters by 86 centimeters or 25.6 by 33.9 inches square diamonds and then over here is a set of pre-cut stickers the color code over here is the same as the dmc color code which is used in some cross stitch floss um, the, co the dmc color code is used with most diamond paintings and those colors will be the same across the board the symbols will vary from color to color but the actual uh, color code like 310 is always going to be black <laughs> if it's using the DMC color code. Anyway, these are actually pre-cut for you, and so that makes kitting up 
go really quickly and smoothly. Any numbers in Diamond Art Club's numbering system that are under the number 150 are going to be an Aurora Borealis diamond, which is what I showed you on the side of the box just a bit ago. I will tell you more about those diamonds and show you them when we're actually looking at the diamonds here in just a bit. But yes, we're gonna have three of them here in this kit. Let's look at the canvas and go on just a little, a little tour. Up here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club's branding. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Did they change the font? Has it always been blue? Does Diamond Art Club, does that look like a different font to you guys? I feel like it might have been updated. I'm gonna have to pull out an older kit and look. I just, for some reason that's catching on my eye and I'm going, is that, is that different than the last, <laughs> last kit I unboxed? Uh, anyway, the edges of the canvas, they are scalloped and finished. I have never had issues with fraying on my Diamond Art Club canvases. The backing is super soft and almost velvety in texture. It's a really nice thick material. It's very plush, it's very pliable, but it's also very sturdy. So I find that it holds drills really well. It also has a self flattening feature and you can see um, like from how I just showed you, I didn't roll it backwards or anything. I just unrolled it and it's just laying flat on its own. That's pretty typical of Diamond Art Club's canvases. Diamond Art Club uses poured glue, which if you take a look a little closer, you can see a little bit of a sparkle to it. Uh, poured glue, you can usually tell if a canvas is poured glue if it has this clear plastic cover. It's very, very sticky. And between the really plush and squishiness of the poured glue and the thickness of the canvas and the material on the canvas, it's just, it makes diamond painting on Diamond Art Club's canvases very relaxing and enjoyable, I find. Poured glue is also a really forgiving, um, uh, glue to diamond paint on because it's it's very forgiving if you place a diamond and need to kind of correct it or center it or pick it off it it'll stand up to that pretty well we have a legend over here at the top left with just 15 colors so <laughs> you've got that there and then we have the same legend over here at the bottom right at the bottom left you're gonna see a thumbnail of the original artwork all of the information about the kit again including the title of the artwork the size and then all of the licensing information so um, while it is not uncommon to see ips like harry potter be stolen and used without permission by diamond painting companies um Diamond Art Club has done everything above board so <laughs> they have the permission of this ip owner to use this artwork and this license. So I appreciate that they have done everything above board in that way. Here we have their socials and yet another discount code. And then info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty, whether that's if you run out of diamonds or have issues with the canvas or the glue or you know reading the symbols or something, but contact their customer service if so, and they will get you taken care of. Let's look at the uh, the clarity of the drill field here on the canvas. So obviously we have a ton of this symbol here that is most of the background. Uh, that is gonna be our black 310 diamond. And you can tell that just by nature, this canvas is absolutely gonna have tons and tons of what we call color blocking. Color blocking is a term we use in diamond painting that just means sections, uh, large sections of the same color. So you can use a multi-placer if you like. If nothing else, that color is gonna be in your tray for a while. Areas with lots of color blocking like this tend to go a little bit more quickly than areas of what we call, by contrast, confetti. This is a good example. You can see that there are lots of color changes in a small area, or sometimes there's just one diamond you know, at a time here. You'll mostly be single placing through those areas and changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often. Areas with lots of confetti are gonna take just a little bit longer to get through typically. Um, but I honestly, I love canvases that have both because color blocking keeps it moving, but the confetti keeps it interesting. So give me both, please. The printing is really clear on this canvas, which is what I have come to expect from Diamond Art Club, quite honestly. So we've got our golden snitch here. We have these sparkles in the background some sparkles up here of course we have our is this the nimbus 2000 <laughs> or the firebolt which one do we think uh my fellow harry potter aficionados please pipe pipe up <laughs> all i want for christmas i mean he did get the firebolt for christmas and prisoner of azkaban so maybe you know that would be like on theme i suppose but 
there we go all I want for Christmas I like that of course we can see all the letters printed super clearly all right let's do a quick measurement and see if we're looking true to size tape measure all right so I tend to think in centimeters at this point when it comes to diamond painting so we are at 85 centimeters except the canvas is not totally flat so <laughs> say it's listed as 86 okay there we go we are maybe just a tiny tick shy of 86 centimeters I remeasured because I was like typically diamond art club runs true to size let me double check this <laughs> and then we are at 65 centimeters on the nose left to right so this is measuring true to size not surprising when it comes to diamond art club uh let's take a look at these diamonds together i'll just pop this in the background for you <laughs> so there's going to be a sticker on the pack of diamonds that will tell you what kit these go with so if you store the canvas separate from the diamonds um you can easily match them up later I see a couple of loose diamonds in the bottom of that bag so i really hope that one of these bags is not split open we'll take a look all right so here we go <laughs> lots of black in here for sure but look at that sparkle already oh my gosh now diamond art club did recently and by recently i mean like around a year ago <laughs> begin manufacturing their diamonds in house and i find that the difference is most noticeable with their squares particularly particularly their darker colors so look at the sparkle on these 310 colored diamonds like holy cow no filter whatsoever that is all just the sparkle in these diamonds they're so 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 pretty the easiest way to tell the difference between the old and the new square diamonds is if you look at the facets on top the new diamonds have 13 facets cut on the top of all of them the older ones only uh, they have a mix of 9 to 13. let's count how many bags of 310 we have so first we have six bags in this strand and then we've got let's see 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 oh there's more there's more is this gonna break the record 27 28 29 i have to go double check i think the most that we've had is 27 in a kit i'm gonna have to go check i know that someone in the vip group knows but 27 no 29 29 bags of 310 in this kit i'm gonna have to recount that make sure i had that right <laughs> in addition to all of that black we also have some shades of brown here 434 three bags of 977 924 two bags of 355 415 400 782 105 there's our first ab diamond so ab stands for aurora borealis these are named after the northern lights which have a really really pretty shimmery and color shift effect so the tops of these diamonds have an iridescent coating that sparkles even more than regular diamonds do the areas they've been charted are going to be highlighted and really dry your eye to those areas and even pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them maybe so they stand out beautifully especially against dark diamonds like that black background this is going to be so pretty 105 is our first ab we have 300 350 139 our second ab is this pretty gray ab now the iridescent coating on these is really striking it re it's reflecting like some green and blue and yellow and pink so not all ab's are created equal some have a different uh, effect than others do as far as the colors they reflect uh 37.99 and then 103 is our last ab we had a pretty red ab i like that red a lot it's kind of like a muted cherry and then 414 that's our last color all right let me show you where we're gonna find these ab's let's start at the bottom um actually i don't see any in kind of these main objects here but i do see them in the backgrounds in these stars so the gray ab is these gray stars and these little gray magic sparkles here the beige ab is the stars here and here and here and the sparkles the magic sparkles over here uh the beige ab is in this star 
And then in parts of this, the magic coming out of the wand here, parts of this are the beige AB, the wand itself here, uh, besides the handle, this is all the gray AB, the beige AB we have here in this compass looking sparkle um, is kind of the plus is, is all the beige AB. And then not here, not here, let's keep going. It seems to be mostly background, like little accent parts, not kind of the main objects. I don't, I don't mind it at all, actually. I think that really works for this artwork and everything. Uh, here, the X in here is the gray AB. So are the sparkles here, the star here, and then kind of the magic gray that's sprinkled around our broomstick here. The star here is the gray AB. And the sparkles over here are gray ABs. This star, this star, and not those, <laughs> are the beige AB here. And then actually here, this stand for the broomstick, um, or the, what, what would we call this, where, where the rider puts their feet, is the beige AB, and actually wraps around the broomstick itself here as well. And then, where is our red AB? Okay, it heard me talking. The red AB <laughs> is, this kind of this cross section right here is our red AB. Sorry for the glare there. And then here as well, kind of doing these, kind of making part of the star. So part of this is red AB and part of this is just a regular red diamond. Uh, same for the F and the R and parts of this O. So you guys, I really do love that AB placement. I think that that totally works for this artwork because again, overall, it's a more muted piece. If like all of these main objects were ABs, I think it would be too much. Instead, I love that the ABs are basically adding some like literal magic <laughs> and sparkle to this kit. It's mostly in the background, a little bit of accent on the broomstick um, and then a little bit in the letters. Again, kind of just those parts that are just just lend themselves to being a little bit more sparkly in the background but what do you guys think i'd love to I'd love to hear your thoughts but i tend to really love what diamond art club does with their ab placement i think that this is going to be no exception um you guys i'm telling you this looks so good and with 29 bags of 310 i'm going to recount those just for posterity 29 bags of 310 as long as you enjoy multi-placing and it helps you zip along, this kit's gonna go fast. Like really, really, it is gonna go fast because that background, pure black, pure black, it's gonna go zippy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yes, 29 bags of black. So the good news is Diamond Art Club's newer diamonds are super high quality. Hopefully that means that those black diamonds, those 310 diamonds from Diamond Art Club are gonna be really consistent in size and shape so that you're gonna be able to just very easily breeze through placing those diamonds. So don't be intimidated by the size on this one, you guys. I really think that it is actually decently beginner and, 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 and intermediate friendly. Uh, I recommend jumping on it. If you're a Harry Potter fan and wanna pick up something, especially that is in a little bit more muted style uh, from this franchise, I think that you should totally jump for this one. Now, um, just to give you a really quick recap, the name of this piece is All I Want for Christmas. It is um, from Diamond Art Club through their licensing agreement with Warner Brothers. It has square diamonds. 15 colors and is 86 by 65 centimeters. Um, 
and it, along with any other midweek releases, are happening tomorrow, which is Wednesday, August 24th at 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon Eastern. Now, we don't know in advance which kits are going to be limited edition. Any kits that are listed as limited edition will not be restocked once they do sell out. So if you see any kits that are calling your name that are going to be released tomorrow, I highly recommend that you check in at release time. Um, and if it is listed as limited edition, definitely jump on it quickly. Uh, yeah, so thank you, you guys, for watching. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this over. I hope that this was really helpful in helping you decide if you wanted to add this to your shopping list this week. And I have to say, go for it. This looks really, really good. And I hope that I can work on this this Christmas, this holiday season. It would be so much fun. Anyway, you guys, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. Best of luck to you if you're shopping tomorrow. And I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to see lots more diamond painting content from me, I would love to have you. Feel free to subscribe and you can hit the bell to be notified when I share new videos. All right, my friends, have a great week. I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.